guys welcome to boxing block center um the home of nigerian combo and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the source cover right now well this is a very important topic um what was next for Deontay Wilder shout out to my brother the African fighters for this design uh I have to give them their due credit you know they're doing a great job a great great job the African fighters go check them out on uh, Instagram they put up good content analyze good fights and it's just amazing bro now let's talk about this right now talk about Deontay Wilder before we do that I want to address something quick Dazon da or Dazon they've took down two of my videos of my fight reaction videos um the Dubois Egovich one and the Fury Usyk one they took it down without basically there is no i didn't use the fight footage i did never played it it was just a picture a fight picture is now a copyright and get your copyright strike the zone is turning this boxing thing into they are being nepotistic right now since when does a fight picture become a become become a result of a copyright strike can't we boxing fans analyze boxing anymore you know when you're analyzing a fight that just happened you put a fight a fight picture on analyzing and talking about it so people know what you're talking about looks like i'm gonna be using i'm gonna be recording a video every every now and then when there's a fight no longer you know pick, put a picture on it but the zona is turning this boxing thing into something else they are not the they are not the one putting up the money anyways he's talking like chic so now they're using this this opportunity to just basically cleans all the content creators or the one the boxing uh, uh, fanatics out of the equation so they will have the, the sole right of doing things i think that is wrong that is nepotistic i don't want to be a little bit i don't want to say something right now because the owner of the zone we know where it's from and we know how those people operate it is wrong it is wrong it is wrong the zone should do better because what they are doing right now even sky sports tnt have never never did that how can why every boxing fan always use a fight picture when analyzing a, part, a particular fight what is wrong with it it's just sad man it's sad it's sad now let's talk about our brother Deontay Wilder what is next for Wilder um Deontay Wilder Deontay Wilder Deontay Wilder doesn't have to retire we need Deontay Wilder in the sport he's 38 years old people will say yeah he's past his prime and stuff like that I would say not really Jan Gilei recently made a very emotional post about Deontay Wilder you know hopefully i'm allowed to use this one as well but this is like a fat picture now this is a fat picture right hopefully i'm allowed to use it i think this is from john jelly's team not this on steam because the zone have been acting very weird this uh, for, so, for some time now so john jelly posted this he said right here goodbye the goodbye the kingdom of Saudi arabia has been it's always been a pleasure of fighting here the world is watching the kingdom becoming the center of boxing now thank you to my dance partner bronze bomber uh, i always respect you as a man a father and a warrior i felt your power saturday night the power that can knock anyone out clean i'm happy we both came out of the ring healthy and safe go back to your family and enjoy your time boxing is great with the bronze bomber don't write your time don't write him off just yet thank you to my team thank you queensbury promotions matron boxing for working together for this historical event Special thank you to Turkey Lashik, the man who makes things happen. Can't wait to get back in the ring. Yes, the man who makes things happen. Turkey Lashik, not the zone. So, I, if I use this big picture right now when analyzing the fight, the zone will take it down. Claiming is theirs. The zone 
is being very, very shitty right now. I don't want to, like, I really want to say some things. So, I'm just pissed off because this guy is literally, like, he's just making me want to go, want to just let boxing go. You know? Because it's not every fucking time I have to show my face, I can put a pet picture on and analyze the fight. That's never been a crime. But with this on, it is now. Take it down. Um, uh, videos that I'm not showing the fight footage or anything like that. If I show the fight footage, I understand that. But I did. I'd never do that. It's just gonna weird, bro. So, you heard it from Janjali. Deontay Water shouldn't be written off just yet. I will tell you this right now. Deontay Water was was outweighed by Janjali. about 68 point something pounds bro do you know the size john delay is basically is okay let me show the this the big off to our brother the, the african fighters they are doing a very good job uh go follow them follow them follow them guys look at the graphics everything here yeah, the news amazing so yeah what i was at weight by john Jali. look by 68 pounds 68 pounds heavier basically jangela is a super heavyweight and water is basically between bridger weight and cruiser weight water can easily lo lose some weight or some weight and go and fight as a cruiser weight and it, it was just like a 12 pounds 12 pounds away from being a, a bridger weight so i think the under water should switch division Lorenzo Coley is the champion right now WBC champion WBC Brazilian champion right so I think the onto the bronze Bomba Water should fight Lorenzo Coley for that Brazilian with title of course after such a loss you need to recuperate you need to spend time with your family but water should not retire just yet. Water can become a three, a three, a three weight world champion. Cruiserweight, bridge weight. He's already an, he was already an heavyweight world champion. So that's history right there. Water came from the trenches, came from nothing. Water got into boxing because of his daughter, with with Spina Bifida. and he achieved everything. He could never imagine water was didn't think of even becoming a world champion when he got into boxing he wanted just to take off his daughter he needed money that got him to got him into olympics and then him winning a bronze medal and reigning for five years olympics world champion bro having 10 title defenses you can say yeah the opponents were not elite i don't care it's not easy to knock listen it's not easy to knock even a bomb out i will tell you right now because you have to you have to have some sort of power out of this word power to knock up to knock someone out at all ot's it hasn't been stopped wasn't was 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 undefeated when water for them oh, water stopped him twice ortiz luis ortiz i know we all had everything to say then you know we we were like we're, we're team joshua and others were team water i'm team water now team joshua i'm team i'm team or oh, i'm team everybody now because i think the reason why the fights we 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 could have had water joshua didn't happen is because we the fans we're all basically just fight basically wanted to be right wanted to be on top wanted our bosses to be to have the bigger chair we don't get shit from it or anything from it so i wish tokelashi came on board a little bit earlier it would have been very good but it is sad the way it is right now it is very sad um Deontay Water should not retire. 
no fight at the brigade division challenge lo sokoli he would take the fight big fight in alabama pay him good money and let's get it on that will be a big fight imagine what i become a two weight world champion maybe go down to become a cruiserweight champion and have one last goal in the heavyweight division what are you people might say right now that hey he's lost the hunger he's lost everything but something there's something that can trigger a man joshua was in a similar position if not worse joshua was stopped by uh andrews junior written off completely by a lot of people we didn't write him off we still steal bbc still steer right here then he lost to reach uh, to uh, usik twice the second time it really hurt joshua he lost basically his composure in the ring all the british media wrote him off said it's over with we know that this is why joshua doesn't give them interview anymore joshua was recently seen in saudi arabia did you see him give any ifl talk sport interview no because those platforms they don't care about the guy they are team fury of course some of the members at talk sport are falling out with fury but joshua knows who they really are now this is why he don't give them any interview that is good i'm happy that he did that because not everybody deserves to get an exclusive interview from joshua maybe fight week you give them one minute two minutes to promote the fight that's it just one of those things i'm glad joshua has opened his eyes i'm very happy about that wada the bronze bomber please don't retire yet go and spend time with your family think about everything what you've achieved and find a place in your heart if the fire is still burning like he said he, he is go back come back stronger in the bridge award division wilder will become a bridge award world champion two time two time um, two weight world champion probably three and that will put his name on the echelon of great fighters because what waters achieved out there right now you can put 100 men in the room with water same guys having the same problem that had a simple problem like water put them in the room a lot of them wouldn't achieve half of what water achieve is our special this guy right this guy is and we have to give him credit hey don't guys god bless you cheers